The Amherst Art Walk is a free event that showcases the works of local artists throughout 12 locations around town. I began my coverage of the Art Walk at A3 Gallery, where I met with Eric Brody, one of the showcased artists. Brody's photography collection at A3 features photographs of the Patagonia region. Brody made a trip to the region in 2009. It's no surprise Brody brought a camera, as he mentioned he's hardly anywhere without one. Next I stopped at the Burnett Gallery in the Jones Library where I met Darcy Tozier. Tozier, an artist from Connecticut, creates sculptures out of wire and wool. Tozier stumbled upon this medium by accident. And then the wool came to me by accident from my son who got me a gift that was he thought was knitting but it was wool. So I started felting to see what it could do and then my neighbors gave me a big pile of sheep's wool. Tozier, like many art-minded people, is excited about being part of the art walk. Uh, I, yeah, I love that it's open, all the galleries are open and that people can can kind of walk through all the different places and talk to the artists and, I don't know, it brings the town together. On my way to the Hope and Feathers Gallery, I stopped by the Emily Dickinson Museum. Dickinson's bedroom was open to tours. A poetry reading by Northampton Poet Laureate Rich Michelson and others was held there at 6.30 p.m. The final stop I made was at Hope and Feathers Gallery. Here I talked to Lori DeVault, an artist whose photo was on display at the gallery. I really love the art walk for a few reasons. It's a way to get out and see everybody's artwork. Um, it's a way that people in the galleries get business and get supported for what they do for artists. And it's a very popular phenomenon now, uh, across the country. I've been to art walks in other states and other parts of western Massachusetts, and I think it's really great to support them. Though the April Art Walk is over, there will be more in the following months. For more information on the Art Walk, you can visit AmherstArtWalk.com. Reporting for Amherst Media, this is Jim Lyons.